What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today, Bungie released a trailer for its live stream at Gamescom reveal of The Crucible. So we're really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to it. I know you guys are looking forward to it. We've talked a ton about it on live streams, on the Plan Testing Podcast, everywhere. Uh, this thing is going to be huge. We're really expecting to see private matches here. Uh, but what I want to talk about today was some new stuff that we saw in this trailer. So let's break this thing down and take a look. In this first pick, we get a sneak peek at the Titans Iron Lord armor. This is notable for a few reasons. First of all, it looks cool as hell, but also check out the flame effects in the visor on the helmet, the chest piece, and in the mouths on the shoulder pieces. I'm assuming that these are going to be ornaments that you'll be able to add this effect in because we've never seen this effect before in any of the previous trailers, uh, but I don't think we've seen this armor before either, but it's very cool and we get to see more of it later. Next, we get another look at the new area, the temple area inside of Felwinter Peak. And this appears to show our guardians actually climbing to the summit of Felwinter Peak. What I really like here is the warlock in the back of the line. They're all single file, but that warlock looks like he's got his back against the wall and that he's being very careful not to fall off. That's pretty cool. Here we get a look at the missile silo that will serve as an entrance for the new strike. This strike will actually take place as you go deeper and deeper into the bottom of this, what appears to me a World War II style missile silo, but updated for the golden age. Here we can see a couple of guardians rushing down a corridor. Uh, what stands out to me in this video is that it does seem Vex inspired. I'm wondering if this is in fact a new Vex themed multiplayer level. And the fact that the warlock on the left appears to be war wearing the new Trials of Osiris armor. Uh, this is that same warlock apparently on a different map. Uh, again, I think he is wearing that new Trials of Osiris armor, which actually looks better in person than it does in the images that we saw earlier from the Game Informer article. In these two clips, we can see a brief glimpse at the new Supremacy game mode where Guardians actually drop uh, Engram-type items that you must pick up to score points, similar to Kill Confirmed in Call of Duty. Here we can see the new Steamroller boss in the Wrath of the Machine raid. We get to see him in action a little bit with this huge sea mine coming crashing down. Uh, we also get another sneak peek or a second look at that Iron Lord armor for the Titan. And you can see it's still glowing even independent of him standing in front of the fire. Uh, and it looks just freaking badass. I cannot wait to get a full set of this on all of my characters uh, with the ornamentation because it just looks incredible and completely different than anything we've seen before. And here we get to see a new Sivified Ogre. This seems to be the boss for the brand new strike that ships with Rise of Iron, with the plot line being that the Siva Fallen have gone into a hive nest and infected this ogre. Another look at a helmetless Lord Shax. This time he appears to be in the temple at the top of Felwinter Peak. And a new entrance. You can see that there are multiple guardians here. I assume that this is either the raid entrance or the entrance to the Archon's Forge. I'm not real sure on which it's going to be yet. Uh, I am kind of leaning toward Archon's Forge. Uh, there are five players here, but I assume that three of those could be in your fire team and two of them could be uh, just regular guys on patrol. I think they would have shown six if it were the raid entrance, but I'm not sure about that. And here is a hunter shooting off a void bow with some new armor on. The new armor does look very dope. I think they've done an excellent job with armor overall in the Rise of Iron. Some of it is the best looking armor I've seen in game to date. And here is some filler. We again see the new Titan armor, the Iron Lord armor as he smashes the axe into the ground. So that's it. There's a lot of actually new cool stuff in here. I'm really excited for the live stream that's going to be happening tomorrow. And... Finally, let's play the complete and unedited trailer in its entirety right now. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. 